Hello, my name is Madison Leach, and today I will be doing my theater presentation over Felicia Rashad, also known as the mother of the black community. Felicia Rashad is a well-known African-American singer, actress, and, and stage director. She was born on June 19, 1948 in Houston, Texas. She attended Howard University, where she graduated magna cum laude in 1970. Her acting career began in 1972. She's best known for her role as Claire Huxtable, the mothers in the Cosby Show. That earned her uh, Emmy Award nominations in 1985 and 1986. And, and in, oh, in 2004, Ms. Rashad became the first African-American actress to receive a Tony Award for the Best Actress. for her role in The Raven and the Sun. Um, she has been on Broadway many times, and some of those examples are Into the Woods in 1988, Gem of the Ocean in 2004, Dream Girls, Ain't Supposed to Die Natural Death, and many more Broadway plays. Her recent role, um, she played in many recent roles, such as in Creed and Creed II, A Fall from Grace, Black Box, and the Netflix original, which actually just came out this around this Christmas time, Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. She also played the voice of Libra Gardner in the Disney Pixar short film Soul. Over the course of her career, she has earned more than 10 major awards and has been nominated for, even, for many more. Some of those awards are she was the first African American to get first African American actress to get awarded that award. I chose Felicia because she was she very inspirational for the simple fact that she just let her acting career overcome her education and her education was first. Cause if you didn't know, graduating magna cum laude is very high in your class and that means that you're a very well student. She also has some other famous family members, such as Debbie Allen is her sister. Um, but overall, she just, I want to say she paved the way for many upcoming women, especially African-American women actresses. And she has impacted the African-American community in many ways. Um, with being African-American and growing up in the time of the 19. 1950s around that time I know that it was very hard trying to be an actor actress and just growing up in general so for her to be able to become a successful actress and for her to still be successful it's very inspirational um yes thank you for watching hope you had a wonderful time and that you enjoyed the information that I shared